This video is regarding avoiding gland probing and other technique for lid treatment. The right lower lid has to be stabilized in order to use the little mammalian gland probes. Oftentimes, if the mammalian glands are very inspissated, it is difficult to use the probes. So I start with the shortest probe first, which usually allows a better opening of the mabumin gland since the shorter the probe the more rigid the probe uh, after you've opened most of the probes you can move to a different length of mabumin gland probing uh, to ensure that you probe the glands as far into the lumen as possible if the two millimeter probe which you can see here does not work you can go to a one millimeter probe and after the two, you move up to a four millimeter probe. Uh, all of the lids are, can be probed in this fashion. However, the lower lids tend to benefit most since they are the ones that tend to be most inspissated and are also easier to address. Numbing for this procedure, I usually numb only the eye with the pericane. This makes it possible to pull the lid away without too much discomfort. It is very difficult to numb the lids themselves without an injection. Uh, you can use a cream to achieve some numbing effect. However, you have to wait for the cream to work for several minutes before you can do anything. And even in those instances, the sensation will not be completely gone. Most of my patients that have done this in, and I do this rarely, I've only used for pericane drops. There is another way to numb the lids with a lidocaine injection into the lids. However, I have not had to do this yet, but if a patient is very uncomfortable, this can also be done and this will lead to complete anesthesia of uh, the lid you are dealing with. The left lower lid, again, in a similar fashion, the uh, lid is averted and each mabomian gland opening is entered. Another way to stabilize the lid uh, besides a finger uh, is to use the bowing glad expressor uh, because of the two-point fixation can lead to more stability and also allow you to uh, better and more firmly open up the plugged up mabomian glands. There's, it's very common to see uh, some bleeding and the uh, white structures that you see in the lid are the glands. The opening to the glands is right in between those two structures. Usually you see a small little uh, dot um, that is shows you the uh, lumen of the moment glands. Sometimes ex trying to express can help, uh, at least can be helpful initially to locate uh, some of the moment glands orifices. However, this is not always possible. And if there's no indication of where the opening is, I have not been able to successfully uh, probe them to ensure better flow. At the end of the procedure, after this, I tend to try another expression of the uh, lids, since if the mybum glands are open, uh, they should allow for a better flow of mybum. Mybum gland probing by itself uh, is not as uh, useful or helpful as combining the mabumin gland probing with IPL treatments. I don't repeat mabumin gland probing very often, one, because of the discomfort of the patient, um, the difficulty of doing the procedure as well as the length, and I think uh, once you've achieved some progress in the patency, that is usually enough.